Hey gang, so today's kind of a special one. I have been following Boo Boo Boy since the start and I, I could not pass up. I could not pass up the first aluminum polished Boo Boo Boy. I've got some thoughts. We're gonna have a look at it. We're gonna take it apart. We're gonna go through it. So let's just stop wasting your time. Stop wasting everybody's time. I don't even, I'm running out of things to say. I just gotta stop talking. I gotta get this thing under the camera. All right, I'm gonna shut up now. We're gonna have a look at this. It's the Boo Boo Boy in polished aluminum. Let's go. Okay, so here we have the aluminum Boo Boo Boy polished. Now, polished is an important distinction because it greatly affects the grip. And depending on um, what kind of skin you have, if it's like very dry, very wet, uh, polished or kind of like the, the bead blasted um, can be uh, a very, very important distinction. Now, when I first got this, first of all, I mean, it looks beautiful. I love, I love glossy things. I love shiny things. Um, but sometimes the look of something can actually affect the functionality of it. So I find, the polished is slippery. It's absolutely slippery. If you have strong magnets in here, um, you're gonna be, I mean, I would think at least it's gonna be a challenge to, to slide this uh, the way you want if you have the type of skin that slides around against polished uh, metal. Now, when I first got this, I had a problem with it. I couldn't slide it very well. And I thought, oh crap, I've made a mistake. I ordered the wrong finish. And I could have gone for the, again, the blasted finish, but it just doesn't have this really glossy, gorgeous kind of look to it. So I thought, well, there's gotta be a way to make this work. And what I found was uh, a very, very simple, simple modification. So Jason has these set up, when they get sent out, they are set up with a, with a hybrid mix of N52s and N35s. N52s are in the top corner, N35s are in the middle. So you get this really strong corner grip and then the, the, weaker, um, the weaker middle allows you to have some play. The problem I've found with that is again, for myself, I just found it really, really slippery. So I needed to add a little bit of weakness to, um, you know, a little bit of weakness to it. So I tried all kinds of configurations and I, I know Jason was laughing at me because um, you know, I was like, Hey, I tried this, this works better. This works better. This doesn't work as good. I tried N35s on all the corners and because of the weight, uh, the lid just falls off. It, it does not work well with light magnets all the way through. It does not work well with strong magnets all the way through. It makes it really, really hard to move around. So at one point I even tried just N35s in the corners on one side. And that was actually getting close until I found what was the perfect to, for me at least the perfect configuration of of um the magnet strength so let's open it up this this side is standard this is how it ships so i'm going to put this over here i'm going to show you i just did one simple thing to this side and it took a while to figure out so let's just open it up we'll bring in bob ross so he can watch what i'm doing and compliment me on taking a risk and trying new things and just overall being happy. Get out of here. So any problem with steel screws is they want to stick. They want to stick to the magnets. Okay. So now you'll also find sometimes these lids, this, the lid on this side is much tighter to take off. So that gets tricky because you can't be flipping it all around trying to pull the lid off because your magnets are gonna go flying. So I found that uh, if I had a sticking lid, like that one does a bit more, because just because of the, um, I guess the fit, right? The very, very low tolerance for space and the fit. So I brought, I would bring this out just a, just a smidge like this, making sure the magnets still stick. And then I would just take my nail and lift the lid. So that side would come off and then I would turn it around and do the other side. That way everything stays secure. Now this half, uh, the lid is actually uh, comes off much more easily. So here's the difference. On this one side, I took the corner magnets and I took, so see these all come by the way with rings, right? 
And we've seen these rings before. We're all familiar with them. Let me get something a little smaller here. We're all familiar with these rings. These are like dampeners. Um, they, they create a bit of distance. Um, and they also kind of uh, reduce crunch so the magnets aren't bouncing around and stuff. I could take these out and make this super crunchy. But what I did with the ring, so this comes with, again, this is a hybrid setup, and 52s and 35s. The way it comes, and if you open up that lid, the way it would look is that all the magnets go in first and then rings are on the top of the magnets. What I did is I took the corner magnets, I took the rings out, took the magnets out, put the rings in first, then dropped the magnets back in on one side. That created just enough gap to reduce the strength enough so that it wasn't like really, really tight and really hard to separate. It actually now flows really well. I'm really like, I'm, 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 I'm overjoyed at how well this thing works now. So if you open up the lids on these, we get a number. This one came with the Boo Boo Boy dog tag. I've gotten here. So you get kind of like your own numbered dog tag, which is awesome. And you get a couple of, what do we get in here? You get a, Jason sends a whole extra run of magnets as well. So you can kind of try, you can go full, uh, you can go full N4, N, uh, what is it? Full N52s or full N35s if you want. I find the hybrid works the best and I've been doing, like I said, a bunch of testing on this. So, we just close it up. Now the ergonomics of this are great. Um, I was always a fan of the original Boo Boo Boy, the, the 3D printed one, uh, which I still have here, which I can pull out in a second. Uh, so the ergonomics, I always found this was one of his uh, best designs. There's just something about the pushing you get right into the middle here. This, I, I tend to do this a lot, just this little spin and flip. And the little indent on the middle is perfect because that's where I enjoy pushing from, right? You push from the middle, so your thumb just gets in there, pushes. So for laddering, uh, I find this configuration of magnets does still fall sometimes, but again, there's a lot of weight on here. But I find this configuration of uh, magnets is perfect. And I mean, it looks awesome. If you go full N52s, uh, the, the lid's not gonna fly off as much because it's gonna be stuck together uh, very, very solidly, but it just, uh, I find it doesn't flow as nice. So you just, I don't know, there's just something about this little tweak that just lets it, you know, super smooth, I find. Now, will it still fall? Sure, because the weight is still, you know, there's a lot of weight on here. So sometimes you'll end up doing that. But I mean, you get that with a lot of sliders anyways. Here, let's put this up against the 3D version. So there we have the original Boo Boo Boy. I, again, when I got this thing, this was awesome. I love this, the little Band-Aid colors and everything. So of course, with the metal, you lose the whole Band-Aid look, but it's great. So I would absolutely uh, put this into the premium um, category of fidgets. And again, not just because Jason is my friend, obviously, and he supports the channel really well, but just because it's a great fidget. It's really well made. And it's like, it's not on an assembly line being pumped out. This is, uh, you know, an, by another, like we all love these craftsmen who just kind of sit and make these. Uh, now, Jason doesn't make this himself. He has someone that makes them for him. But these are made uh, in the USA, if that matters to you. I'm from Canada, so it doesn't. But um, <laughs> I do like that there's a lot of crafting care that go into these. And I know that, um, like all other makers uh, of his caliber, Jason is sort of like, you know, really, really um, uh, poured a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into these to make these um, as good as they are. So... I would not hesitate to uh, buy one of these if it's within your budget. Uh, these are 220. So um, again, and you have to get them through the Facebook page and you have to get them on drop. So they're not always available. You just have to sit and wait. And then when a drop pops up, jump on it. So there you go. That is the aluminum polished Boo Boo Boy. 
All right, gang, thanks for watching. What?